Welcome back my biddies, welcome back my babies to another video. Here's another banger for you, okay? So this one, we're going to do my hair. And my hair is already straight as you can see, but today we're going to try crimping. I used to do crimping all the time in high school, every single day. If you knew me, I was the crimp queen. I don't know why, I just loved it so much. It just gave me beachy waves that I always wanted. So I'm gonna go back to that and we're gonna try this again. And this time with my hair actually like healthy and see how it looks with my hair healthy. Please do not forget to please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. And do not forget to turn that notification bell as well. We need a couple things for this video. We need a flat iron. We need a heat protectant for our hair. Cause you know my curvy girls, we don't wanna lose our curls. So it's, you can either use this trust me one and it protects up to 450 heat, so that's great. And then we also have this Garnet Fritja style. And this one you can get at the store for cheap. This is what I've like, used most of my life. And this is what I'm starting to use. I'm trying to see which one's better. And we might see, have to see. And then, you know, a regular comb, a regular brush. Not comb, a regular brush, but since I don't have my brush, I'm about to use my diamond brush. So don't look at me crazy, because I'm looking at myself crazy using a dang diamond brush. And you also need your handy dandy blow dryer.
used to, as you can see in my pics, I used to put in my hair like every day. Woke up a whole two hours before I was supposed to and I thought I had my hair. And I made sure I crimped it. I had my extensions and I was like, all right, let's go to school. Like every morning I would do that. And I really wasn't noticing like my hair falling out until like later on <clears throat> in my end of the year. I was like, why don't I have any more hair? And like, it was weird cause I was gaining hair, but at the same time, I was losing hair because um, I would do the keratin treatment so then my hair can match the extensions because I had straight hair extensions. <clears throat> so I would just be doing the keratin treatments. I would straighten my hair every day. I would um, put the clips in, which was also taking out my hair because it was just me doing it consistently. Like, I loved my little clips and my crimping and my bun. Like, those were my best friends. Like, they never disappointed me. Never disappointed me. So, me cutting off my hair, that was a big change for me. Because I was like, oh, I'm never going to use my flyers again. It was crazy. Like, I had the little mini one flyer. I had the crimp flyer. And I had, like, <laughs> I stole my mom's flyers because I was just like, it ain't hot enough for me. My hair keeps, like... <clears throat> messing up and I was just like what's going on like what am I doing wrong and I just never noticed like hey like you're black and you kind of have to accept that like stop making your hair do something that it doesn't want to do and when I went to college like I was just noticing a lot more videos of people you know doing the big chop and people with their natural hair and you know I never had that so I was once I got into that culture then I started doing it and I started realizing like Kayla like this is actually who you are like you can still get that flat iron every once in a while but girl you don't need it every day like that's not you and that's not your hair and I learned to realize that I am beautiful with curly hair with straight hair like it, it don't matter with like with weaves and all that stuff like that is still my hair I still pay for it but like I just really learned how to love myself through all types of hairstyles like I never really wore or started wearing braids like that until I got to college like I had braids but then I told my mom I didn't like it, so she would just be like, all right, well, we're not doing it anymore. I was like, I don't want straight hair. And that was really in my head, like straight hair is pretty. But when I was in middle school, I had a best friend of mine, like I had a best friend and, you know, she was Russian. So her hair was straight, no matter what she did. And I was like, in love with her like i had a little crush on her back then i was realizing when that was me realizing like i kind of had some feelings for girls because like i was just like always jealous of her you know why does people like her so much over me and i was thinking it was because i was black and i was just not realizing like that i was doing something to my brain that I shouldn't have been doing. I shouldn't have been, you know, idolizing her that much to the point that I was hating on myself. And that's when, and it took me a long time to realize that like, that I was messing up my brain to think that, that they're better than us. And it's not just me, like you have so many platforms that tell you that you're not beautiful enough. And then your hair isn't what we want. Like I was so in love with dolls and brat dolls and Barbie dolls and you will never see them have curly hair. Never. It was always straight. Um and if they 
did have it curly. It was not my texture. So I don't know <laughs> what, what area or what team I was on. I was like so confused. So <sighs> at the end of the day, I'm just trying to say that I'm, I love myself now and it changed me for the better. And if there's people still out there struggling with how they look and the, if they feel like they always need to wear weaves or they need to have makeup on, like you're beautiful. And don't let anyone tell you you're not and don't let you tell yourself because hella, hella people are going to tell you you're not beautiful. But then once you say it, that's when it really hits you. And then that's what like takes over your mind the most is when you really actually think that you're not beautiful enough so I want you to really just take your time every day to look in the mirror maybe put a sticky note on it and say some affirmations and daily affirmations to yourself that you are beautiful is what I used um it's the only hairspray I have you guys can use any other hairspray hairspray you have just make sure you're far away from your hair so much for watching please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to this video and do not forget to turn on that notification bell as well thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye